Maverick Aoko is a controversial blogger who often rubs shoulders with political bigwigs in the wrong way. But this time around, Aoko seems to have angered the wrong person because she has gone missing for almost three weeks now. Who took her, nobody knows. Where she is, nobody knows. Is she alive or dead, nobody knows. All that we know for sure is that she is in fact missing. And we know this courtesy of her social media account manager who just so happens to have access to her accounts even in her absentia. Here's the post from Aoko's uh, aid and i quote hi this is aoko's aid i'm tweeting using her account with the blessings of her dad after her arrest she opted to stay with family up country only going to nairobi for meetings and court two weeks ago upon her return to nairobi she found her main door clobbered at the hinges she called me panicked i asked her to take pictures and leave she decided not to say it to prevent drawing attention that she was around her caretaker and watchman also reported of strange men hovering around asking for her whereabouts. Days later, she was interviewed by AFP about her arrest ordeal and continued threats. After her tweet on Mr. F, she went incognito. I think Mr. F is Farouk. Which we, family and friends, thought it normal. Perhaps she just wanted to confuse enemies. We still don't know her whereabouts. Whom do we report to? Same police who told her lawyers point blank, we are coming for her. If they took her, we are asking that they produce her. If she is hiding, we pray that she is safe and will reach out in whatever discreet way just so we can all have peace of mind. Now, in this video, I want us to look into some of the possible reasons why blogger Maverick Oko was kidnapped. And with no further ado, let's get after it. First up is her salacious tweet touching on Farouk Kibet and the president. In fact, if we were giving out awards of the top 10 most salacious tweets from Kenya, this one tops the charts. Let me just read for you the tweet, quote for quote, and I quote. His name is Ezekiel Kibet Tegut, aka Crying Man. His peers named him that because he smiles like he's crying. He's the second son of Farouk. No one knows this. Budayao amewaficha sana. And I kindly beg him not to send assassins my way. His brother used to be AP, then a Kapandishwa Cheo mysteriously to presidential escort. So, Farouk has two wives and multiple concubines including Linda Ogutu. Nia Litoa Linda KTN. She's getting, wow, she's getting effed and fed freely. Halafu, he's the one who tastes girls for Baba Shalin before Ampatie. Kama weo ni Wanduru, he tells you, hiyo kelele punguza, mku hapendi too much morning. So, in that tweet, what Maverick Aoko is saying is that the president is moving around with girls and the person who selects these girls for the president is Farouk Kibet and the first thing he does is sleep with them and train them what the president wants before passing them to the president. Do you see these kind of tweets why they get people in trouble? All politicians bar the president, the deputy president and the governors never ever bring their wives to limelight. The only reason those three that I've mentioned do so is because they have the office of the first lady. Governors don't, but they force issues. They create one. The president and the deputy have one also. Even with Saleh Mudavadi, his spouse also has some activities under her office. But everyone else keeps their husbands and their wives in private and their children also because they know politics is very personal and very dirty. People want to keep their private lives private. And then somebody comes with a salacious lie that this person is testing women for this. Now, what does that mean? How does uh, the president's wife feel about that one? The children. Or Farouk Kibet's wife and children. How do they feel about that tweet? This is why some people go missing. We saw the other day another blogger called uh, Bruce insulting the mother of Abdul Swamad. And we know how men are. You can insult a man, but when you touch the mother, things can go haywire. Bruce was taken and raped. Now, I condemn that act fully. But at the same time, we must say the truth. Some of the things that bloggers are saying, those who are not objective, it is personal blogging. They are attacking your persona, not your policies, not your standpoint. They are looking at your family member. Uh -huh, this is your family, so they come after them. This is the first reason why I tend to believe Aoko has gone missing. Now, the second reason why she could have been kidnapped is her insult on Aden Dwale and Naindra of a CDF Ogola's death. Let me read for you this one also, and I quote. Now I know what killed Ogola. Guy, at a CEO army related she, that Al-Shabaab funder called Dwale is innocent. Can you see what she has called Dwale? That Al-Shabaab funder called Dwale is innocent. Maze, ni this cow worshipping Kalasinga. 
<laughs> his real name is Naendra, not Devki. Cement making clinker Ogola went to check West Pokot. He was not inspecting schools. How many people have been insulted here? Dwale has been called the Al Shabab Fanda. Naendra has been called the cow worshipping Kalasinga. Ogola has been called the cement making clinker. <laughs> Some people wanna follow nyanganyo simu for their own sake. So now, even now that she has been abducted, who do you suspect? Because everyone has been insulted. There is Dwale, there is Naindra, there is Farouk, there is the president. Who could be behind it? It's an endless list. At this point, I can't even rule out one or two of her neighbors being behind her abduction because I've seen another video where she was threatening one of her neighbors wanting to beat them up. Here's the tip. A young girl for one month is double your mouth. So if you ask me, I can say conclusively that Maverick Aoko has been picked up by probably one of the security forces of the country. Who gave the order, we don't know. Who she aggrieved, we don't know because it's a multitude of people. If I was to go on looking at all her tweets, I think I could cover almost 20, 30 politicians in this country. But at the end of the day, guys, that's just my opinion. Do let me know your own comments in the comment section below. Why do you think Maverick Aoko has been uh, kidnapped? And by the way, we hope for her speedy and immediate release because we don't want to go back to the dark days of Moi and Idi Amin where kidnappings and killings were the cornerstone of their regimes. However salacious the utterance, get hold of the person, take them to court, let the judge deal with them appropriately. If it is a 50 million fine, 100 million fine, 50,000 fine, depending on where they are in society. That is a better outcome than us discovering a body somewhere or someone is being kidnapped and tortured for three, four weeks. Like we saw, Anjeri was also kidnapped. So those are things we hope that uh, will not be happening in this country moving forward. Now with that, if you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Wafula. Hit the subscribe button. You're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. All right, guys. Adios. Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adios.